Hello everyone. I thought I'd show some features I've added to the new Windows build. Let's have a look. I'll try and be quick. Epic. Now, what I've changed, the first thing you'll notice uh, if you... Well, actually no, you probably wouldn't notice it. But anyway, we've got uh, library links now. So we've got documents, pictures, music, videos. That's just all on the start menu. You can always take them off if you don't want to. Another thing that I've changed is uh, a lot of the default programs are different and I've added some new ones. So like for example, there's a new game. 3D Pinball is back. Epic. Not only that, the music is back too. Anyway, I did change uh, one of the art programs. The the pincer one was a bit shitty, um, especially with the text lagging out. So I added color paint and quieter, which this one is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm still learning how to use it, but it's probably one of the better ones I've seen on Linux. Well, it's actually on Windows too, but you know. Uh, otherwise, color paint, uh, I really like this for the fact that it just looks like classic MS Paint, except it supports transparency as well. So. Wow, very epic. Ho 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 ho. Um, so, yeah, I think this was transparency one. There you go. And, oh shit, I got a bit of a sun, bad sun down. Ah, <laughs> I've ruined it. Alright, there you go. I've also added a few tools on there. Like, I mean, even since the first video, I've added quite a bit of stuff. Like, say, the joystick testing thing. I've added the a calibrate touchscreen tool on there but anyway some new ones is multi writer which basically lets you write ISO images to a USB uh, pretty simple uh, then another one I really like which is basically just disk management but for Linux uh, yeah is you can you can create partitions you can you can make images and stuff like up here you format create disk image restore so that'll be pretty handy, especially if you're writing like, say, I haven't tried it out yet, but if you're writing a Raspberry Pi image or something, I, th I think that'll be pretty useful. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, FileZilla is now installed by default. I've actually swapped uh, the XF burn CD burning application with this one, which is quite nice. So you meet, it's kind of like a magic ISO, power ISO, kinda, not really, you can copy this, you can format, you can do all sorts, you can burn stuff including uh, supposedly um, clone city images so I'd like to see if that would include libcrit protected PS1 games but I have not tested that. Well some other features I've changed in the menus so for example let's go home any file no matter what it is if you right click it you've got a edit with notepad or mouse pad um, probably not useful for things that are already text, but occasionally there's like a, I don't know, maybe a config file or something that's like whatever the fuck this RC is. Apparently Google Chrome wants to open with it, but if you want, it's just, it's just there. You can also drag more than one thing into it if you want. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. Tabs, yay. What a nice editor. So you got that. That's, um, one of the things. Uh, another thing that's changed is uh, if I say, let's go to documents. There we go. It now has a print menu on there now. So, yeah, you can print stuff just with a right click, just like any other normal operating system. So, pretty nice. I think that was actually part of Exibun 2, but I accidentally must have deleted it or something. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, it's there now. Um, another thing I like too that I've added on there is grep search. It's like searching for files, but this one actually searches any one of those files for a s special bit of text. Like, for example, we created that stupid ass document there. Let's make cool document. Oh, that text. I don't know. Um, so now if I go grep search, you hit that, bu that button first, it'll 
pretty much go in every, it'll just add every file on there that's in that current folder. But then you can just go search, you know, I don't know, say you want to search for that penis. Ah, oh, tells you how many matches, which file it's in, um, tells you which line. You can also replace the text. I'll do that now. Sweet. You can also do, say, Chad. If you don't want to search like lower cases, you can click that button. Do case insensitive searching. There you go. Very useful. I mean, I've always had grep win on Windows anyway, but yeah, this is just built into the menu, just built in the OS. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the update. Uh, I've actually ended up rebuilding it kind of from scratch in a way. Uh, I made a script that basically just automatically modifies Xubuntu's install stuff into a, a Windows install. So if they ever update it, um, I can just easily rerun the script again and it will just do everything for me. Uh, this also probably means um, a Raspberry Pi port may be coming soon, but I, I know not all the programs are available on there. Um, I'm also a bit skeptical on how Wine itself is going to work on it. Last time I did it on my past video it was a bit slow but you know um, I might do a Pi port I think that'll be pretty fun. Um, it's in dire need of a Windows compatibility layer anyway so yeah anyway, that's the install. Time to play some Doom. Really shitty speed run. Yeah, way. Yo. There you go. Anyway, that's um, that's this Linux distro update. Uh, Windows uh, version whatever today's date is, which actually it's now the first of December, but I've titled it 30th November. So uh, whatever. Enjoy. Have fun, guys.